Todd here at the All Things Adobe Podcast. In this movie, we'll take a look at using ActionScript 3.0 to load text from an external file into Flash. And this doesn't really matter whether you're working in Flash or in Flex. As long as you're using ActionScript 3.0, the coding will be exactly the same. So if you're working in Flash, then create two layers in a blank document, one named text field, one named actions. On the text field layer, draw a dynamic text field, name it external underscore txt, multi-line, selectable, and show border around text. Now, if you didn't catch that, you can just pause it, rewind, and get that again. If you're working in flex, just create a text area in flex and uh, give it the same instance name, which would be an ID in flex. And the only difference between Flash and Flex here after this is going to be you would put all your code instead of a script block. All right, sound good? Cool, let's go. Click on the first keyframe of the Actions layer and open up the Actions panel. Press F9 on the PC, Option F9 on the Mac. The first thing we need to do is create something to load our external content. So type var and then a space, and I'll call this loader and the data type will be URL loader. That's all caps for URL and then L is capitalized in loader. Var loader is a URL loader. And I'll set that equal to a new instance of the URL loader class. You don't have to write class, just write open and close parentheses and a semicolon. Sweet, go to the next line. So we created our new loader and now we want to make our loader load a file. Now in the same file where I have my FLA file here, external.fla, I have a text file called external.txt. It's a plain text file. If you don't have a plain text file that you're working with, then you pause the movie right now and create one really fast. It doesn't matter how much content is in the text field. All right, now that you've got an external text file, let's make the loader load the file. So type loader.load. And the code hinting says request. And though the scroll pane area here, you might not be able to read that on my screen, but on your screen you'll probably see it. We're not working with a scroll pane. You can click on the arrows to find URL loader. But really, it doesn't matter because it's all the same. So what we need to do is tell Flash what we want to load. And that is in the form of a URL request. So we'll have to type new space URL request with capital R open parenthesis and then in these parentheses we will type the name of the URL and that's going to be in quotes if you look at the code hinting you'll see that flash wants a string so that's why we're putting it in quotes so open quote mine's called external dot txt close quote close parenthesis and then an extra close parenthesis because it's really hard to see with my ginormous text size or font size. So I'm actually going to turn on word wrap. To turn on word wrap, you just click the options area at the very top right of the actions panel. All right, so loader, URL loader, load the request, the open parenthesis here, open parenthesis here requires two close parentheses at the end. So semicolon after that. Next step we add an event listener to our loader so that we can check when the file is done loading into flash or flex type loader dot add event listener and the type of event is event with capital E dot complete and that's in all caps that means when the file is finished loading comma and a space and we'll, the function that we'll define here for when the file is finished loading is on complete all right, I'm going to have to move around my actions panel so that you can actually see what I'm typing. All right, scrolling down. All right, after uncomplete, tap close parenthesis and a semicolon. Go to the next line. Now we just have to define the oncomplete function. So type function space oncomplete. Open parenthesis and we'll call this event. It'll receive an event. The data type is event with capital E. It's because we specified it on line three. Close parenthesis, colon, void. Make sure the V is lowercase. Go to the next line and create some curly braces and put your cursor in between the curly braces. And now type external 
underscore txt. Now this is this is the name of the dynamic text field on the stage, not the name of the external file. The external file is external dot txt. Yeah, that might be kind of confusing. I'm sorry uh, if that's confusing, but that's just how I name them. So the text field dot text. That means the text that's inside of the text field is equal to. So type an equal sign, and then type event. And the event inside of this function is referring to the complete event as defined on line three. Then type after event type a dot. And then type target. And that's referring to the target of the event, which is the instance of the URL loader class called loader. And then after target type dot data. And that is referring to the text that's inside of that loader instance or the URL loader that's loaded in. So event.target.data is referring to the text inside of the text file. After that, type a semicolon. And that is it. To test the movie, press Control Enter or Command Return on the Mac. And you can see the text loads in nicely. Pretty cool, huh? And this would look better with a scroll bar, so I'm going to add a scroll bar in about five seconds real quick. Uh, if you already know how to add a UI scroll bar, then you can just stop the movie right now. But if you don't, it's a pretty cool trick. If you go to Window, Components, I just closed the Actions panel. So find Window, Components, and drag a UI scroll bar onto the stage. And you might want to scale it using the Free Transform tool. So I'm just going to do that. And just drag it down, I'm holding Alt on the keyboard to keep the top at the top. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right. Once you have your scroll bar, you need to click on the select the scroll bar, click on the Parameters tab near the Properties Inspector, change the scroll target name to the instance name of the text field. So external underscore txt, and that's it. So test the movie again. Control Enter or Command Return on the Mac. And now we can scroll the text field. And that is a look at how to load an external text file into Flash or Flex.